What's up, friends of the good food? This is Money, and welcome to some Christmas gameplay right here for War Robots on my own Android account, where I try to compete with this really, really strong team right there in the enemy team. And uh, yeah, I'm also gonna wish you guys out there, all of you, happy holidays and Merry Christmas, especially the last one for those who celebrated. And uh, yeah, I wanna obviously wear my nice hat that I got myself last year for this occasion, and also show you some cool gameplay that I had recorded and not yet shown you guys, okay? So, um, this is on my own account and you will find that most of my stuff isn't Mark II. Some of it is, but most of it isn't. And I'm having a hard time competing with these enemies. This was, by the way, before modules were introduced. So, uh, a few days ago, I recorded this before the modules came. And um, so, right now here, we're having a, a bit of a trouble to keep up with the enemy. Because right now it looks all good, but my team is soon starting to drop out of the match. And as a result, I'm gonna have to fight twice as hard to, uh, you know, to keep it going and not completely lose to the Reds, alright? So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's go and have a look at how, how much we can do right here. Whoa, that trebuchet was kindly missing me right there. That was his Christmas present to me. He was like, hey man, uh, I know I haven't done much and uh, it's Christmas time, so here, have this. Boosh! And he shots that one right past me instead of <laughs> me in the face. But yeah, so... Still still full HP on my Haichi, by the way. Those level 10 and level uh, 10, 11 and 12 or something Orcans that I have are doing a good job right here, uh, fending off the enemy. This Spectre ran full into my rocket salvo before he realized, oh no, I'm, sh I'm shot at, so I gotta jump. And now he has a stealth jump use, and I can just come around and say, hey, boot, how's it going? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's, that's what you get, man. And that was my present right there. No, I mean, uh, this is just, we're playing a game here, okay? Uh, although you could argue and say, hey man, you're playing war on, a, on Christmas. That's not right. But this is just us playing a game having fun, right? So, uh, <laughs> and uh, let's, let's get a wait for the other stealth jumper right there. Probably another Spectre or so. Yup, it is Spectre with Tyrant. And uh, let's brrrp him out of the way. There you go. Doom. Rampage already, okay. Drain that shield on the Haichi that is right there, right over there. Probably also with Orkins, I think. And uh, walking forward. So far, everything seems to look pretty good. We may not be in control of the beacons, but at least we're all still here. And I'm advancing towards the enemy location. And uh, I think there was no Orkin Haichi in front of uh, right here a few a second ago, wasn't there? There was no Orkin Haichi a second ago. There was just this one trebuchet Natasha or whatever, I think. I, I'm not quite sure, but I think he just spawned there and prevented my attack run. I would have been able to secure this beacon if it wasn't for that respawn right there, right? Uh, or, or for this spawn. So let's try and at least try to capture the beacon that we have here on our base side. Because they even got this one and we have the middle one, but not the others. So forcing this guy into a stealth jump, unfortunately a little bit too early. If I had waited with him forcing into a stealth jump, he would have been hit by the whole vortex and aphid that came in on him. Unfortunately, I did not know he was being aimed at with orc with vortex or whatever. If I had known, I would have let him uh, get hit by that first. So yeah, I'm I'm not going in on capturing the beacon because this is beacon rush and they will simply respawn on me. So I'd rather see what's going to happen before I make my move. And. Uh, yeah, there was the Lancelot right... wait, there. There was the Lancelot right there spawning in, and I don't have a chance against this guy with his physical shield. Um, so I'd rather just take the other approach and attack somewhere else. With a Kamiho, you are very fast, and you can just hop around and help here, attack there, take this beacon. You're so agile and fast. And uh, in my opinion, the Kamiho is probably the better Bolt. There's a new robot in the go game called Bolt. Uh, Bolt, I almost didn't notice that was a new one. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically it's a it's a dash bot similar to the Kamiho, but with three light weapons. Probably stronger with gusts in super short combat. But um, I think the three sparks would deal less damage than the two scourges do. So this setup is a very popular one in my opinion here, this scourge. I like it a lot. And you'll see me a lot using this since, you know, on my account, I don't have the choice to run 50 different setups. Um, I, I have certain amounts of robots and things that I can use. And uh, yeah, that's what I got to do. And right here, you see what I'm doing here. My team is mecking out. We're down to three people with me. And uh, I was here 
attacking this beacon right there and immediately the enemy team walked in and surrounded me with a death squad of three people immediately re destroying any chance of me ever capturing this beacon. Oh wait a minute, it was here. This is where I was. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the other three are holding this beacon. It's like a perfect match, team match going on and the fact that these enemies were able to jump stealth over to me and all prevent me from getting this beacon is because my team mecked out. If there was three more guys, they would now walk in and take the center beacon and their entire strategy would have been for nothing. To stop me there with three people is a waste. And unless you can afford it because the enemy team is out of robots. And that's really sad because I had a really good strategy going in. I came in and I had a very fast robot but they could afford to send three guys at me and destroy any chance of me to having any kind of success. And nobody is running in taking this middle beacon now because there's no one left to do that. Very sad when the team mechs out and one guy drops out after, you know, just 10 seconds of combat and whatnot. It's really, uh, it, it's, it, it destroys any chance you have to deliver a really cool match. Because look at the amount of, we, we could have done so much in this match if we just had more time and the teams uh, were, were, you know, were, were the same, same level, both of them. Enemies and a friend, uh, like both teams, same strength. You can, those are the best matches you, you can have in War Robots. Now I know the Tulumba Spectre is jumping to the left, but now I'm for, I'm, for, I'm facing a jumping. Like what do I do? Left is a stealth uh, Tulumba Spectre. To the right is the uh, Inquisitor Death Button Inquisitor with the uh, Exodus and Orcans. My, <laughs> and 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 the middle is the Lancelot that I just took out, thankfully. But yeah. One guy besides... Uh, no, I'm just the, the only one right now. I think I... Yep, yep. Oh, okay, somebody respawned again. But we were only two guys versus six at the end. And uh, even though I think we have we have all together done a really good job for this team, uh, we have been unable to secure the most important beacon. At first, I was, you know, trying to fight from the second line and see what's going on with the Haichi, taking a, uh, out a lot of robots, dealing a lot of damage, not capturing a beacon, though. At the end, I wanted to capture the beacon on the outside and really rescue that victory but they had so many robots left to stop that and yeah unfortunately that one was a lose but nonetheless we have another round coming up and this one is very surprising too okay i'm not gonna give away any anything now um and uh, we may even lose the match who knows but one thing is for sure there's gonna be an interesting twist coming in this one. So we just one tap, one in, uh, I think it was a Spectre or something, and I double splashed them. I hit the Kamiho and I splash killed the Spectre or whatever it was, right there in the middle of the enemy Polk. I like to shoot like Tolumbas in the middle of enemies, because you, you literally double your firepower if there's two of them. Now, I know he's gonna dash to the left, so I already sent the next barrage right in there. Did you see that? Um, that is such such, such, a, such things that you can do when you just know what the enemy is going to do. You fire one salvo there and then you spread the next salvo so that you would miss the robot. But since he's going to dash in that corner and nowhere else anyways, he's going to collect every single one of those. So sending a couple of rockets here at that Spectre just to make him stealth jump early. He would have probably liked to cross the bridge without the stealth and then stealth on someone of our my team. But because I, I put some pressure on him right after his spawn, he had to use the stealth jump and now he's sitting in the middle of the bridge with no cover and he's getting either killed or yeah or he just jumps down and then gets killed by me from here doesn't really matter which way the end is he gets killed the reason is we forced his stealth jump early now let's walk back into cover here trying to get away, away before the scourge uh, uh, Haichi gets me Still here with the Tolumba Spectre, which in my opinion is still one of the most fun Spectres you can run. The splash damage is cool, the damage output is okay, and you have a decent range and not get killed super quick. So, yep, thankfully somebody took down that Haichi shield, so I was able to help against the Haichi with the Tolumbas. It's, uh, that's one problem the, the Tolumbas have. They are very ineffective against shielded opponents. So, you gotta have somebody taking down the shield if possible, and then you can make it happen, right? So, stealth jumping up here, see what I can do. Okay, force this guy in a stealth jump right there. Is he, is he going to? No, he actually wasn't. He just took the hits like a champ, man. So, let's, uh, let's have a look at what we have, okay? We have, I'm, I'm observing the match, seeing what I can do. I uh, jumping in with the Haichi with the Orkins again, just so they don't get the pressure up here and even getting this peek in. They are in the lead when it comes to beacon, but we still can't turn it around. We have enough time, but we need to be careful. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody's coming up. What is this? Ivan K, what do you got, dude? 
Uh, I'm not sure what he has. So, uh, oh, another Spectre is coming in with four Vortex. Okay, we've got to be careful about that Vortex Spectre and keep this guy in mind. We have a Haichi. Haichi is pretty well suited to not take much damage from the... See that? Uh, I didn't even need to dash right there. I, since all rockets came in one poke, it's going to destroy my shield no matter what anyway. So I may as well just save my dash. I didn't think right. And uh, you see right here, another poke of Vortex came in and it didn't do any damage. Because the Haichi is uh, it's very resistant to to Vortex. It just, it, it just doesn't really get hit very well by Vortex damage. It's nearly impossible to make a perfect hit on an Haichi. Even when he's just walking slow, you're going to miss... 30, 40, 50 percent of your damage when shooting the Haichi. So, here we have a Taran Spectre jumping up. He's gonna get killed in a sec there. Just need to wait for him, Ivan. There you go. Now we know what he had. So, another Spectre uh, Inquisitor now jumping up with a five second stealth that I need to survive. Waiting for my dash moment. Whoop! Here we go. He's missing that shot and then by the time he gets it, uh, it gets me in the in the crosshair again. He's pretty much destroyed and that this is I think a good time I see the Haichi shield is down I'm gonna wait for the vortex to come in one last time dash away from the vortex and meanwhile Miss and dodge ever dodge every single rocket this guy fires that didn't end up in my shield and uh, Yo get the Haichi down and I'm still pretty good on HP of course the uh, the enemy specter will be able to just walk away from me and get that um, vortex on me. I'm waiting for his uh, his vortex right there, but unfortunately then I get stuck in the midair. You see this? How much damage I just received from the vortex? Because I didn't keep dashing. You dash and then you're in the air and then you get stuck and your robot makes this here in midair and then he slowly lands down on the ground, which he makes this again and then 10 seconds later you're finally able to walk again so uh, I got hit pretty much from all those vortex nearly perfectly because this worthless robot is unable to just keep dashing why would he stop in mid dash and then just sit there and then loop and then fall down and, loop, and you just can't move anywhere gosh I hate it when that happens, especially when Vortex are about to hit you pretty good. So uh, that was very unfortunate. I was hoping for the the dash to keep going, you know. It, it, it does, it, there is a possibility for this, but you just have to have the dash at the exact right distance to the gap that you're dashing over. So this is the twist that I wanted to start with you guys here. I decided to go on the bridge with a long range scourge and then I evaluated and says, okay, they have four guys, they have everything they've got on this one beacon. So you know what? I may as well just use this superior speed I've got on this Kamiho to just take that, that beacon away from them in the meantime. And since they didn't pay attention, they didn't respawn on that beacon and I was able to just get it. However, now somebody is paying attention and spawning behind me and it is a very strong enemy. It is a um, mender with Spark and Scourge. Now, I'm doing a very skillful maneuver here, dashing around him at the same time, keeping my aim, you know, in advance to where his position will be so that I do not lose my lock on, but he will lose his. Let's have a look at this again. This is something that very rarely works. Like, it's a, it's a very, very skillful maneuver that... that I, I, I'm not saying I'm a super super crazy dude. I'm just saying it worked in this case There are many situations in which I try this and it does not work all the time and this time I dashed past him I already pre-aimed where he will be in a second because there's this little bit of server lag that you have to compensate for and This way I kept my lock on and kept firing at him while he lost his lock on and now He's got a three second lock on which he will no longer uh, get so, um, yeah, I'm glad this worked. I'm really happy I was able to show this to you. I always try this during live streams, but like I said, it's, it's just something that doesn't always work. As much as you want it, <laughs> and even if you know how to do it, it will sometimes just lose your lock on anyways. Uh, okay, we have, wow, one mer three Mercuries jumping at each other. Why did my Merc- okay, okay, here's a- okay, let's get back to this. To those other uh, to those other Mercuries that we have right there. Why do you land on the ground? Why do you do this? All three of them are jumping at each other. None of them is in a disadvantage. They would all just keep jumping past each other and no one would get hit in the explosion if they just p fly past each other. My buddies, these two Mercuries right there decide to go and land now, which puts them on the ground so that the enemy can say, oh, thank you guys, boom, and kills both of them or does major damage to both. One is dead, the other has gotten ridiculous amounts of damage and uh, is probably even getting killed now by the same Mercury still. 
because he is in a damage disadvantage. Where, uh, of course, it cleared up now that the stealth was gone. There's too many of my friends right there. But why would you drop yourself and allow the enemy to drop, to, you know, to bump stealth you? That is, you know, very uh, unfortunate. Let's put it like that, right? Not exactly how you should have done it, guys. Just stay in the air if you're both Mercuries and not get hit by the other one's explosion. Let's show you the stats, and I'm just gonna say once again, for those of you who are Alex still celebrating, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Holidays. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.